Hi everyone, this screencast is going to be an introduction into using geometric notation. The first notation we're going to talk about is going to be the notation of lines, rays, and segments. So we're going to be looking at this diagram right here, and we're going to be labeling it in different ways. The first way we could label it is if it was line AB. Okay, so AB going through the two points, and if it's a line, we're going to put a line on the top with arrows on both ends, signifying that it's continuous in both directions. Now, if it's a ray, we're going to stay focused with the same two points. Um, so we would say AB again, only this time it's going to be an arrow facing one direction, signifying that it has a specific starting point, but no ending point. And finally, if we were going to label it segment AB, we would do AB again, and then we would just do a line on top of it with no arrows, signifying that it has a specific starting and ending point. Now let's look at the angle diagram. All right, so here we're going to focus on two angles. Uh, we'll call it angle one for now and angle two. Okay, so there are a lot of ways to label an angle, and we're going to go over that right now. So important things to keep in mind, P, um, R, and S are points on rays that are all leaving the same vertex, which is point Q. So point Q is the vertex. Um, so let's label angle one a couple different ways. So the first way you could angle, label angle one is just simply an angle symbol and one because we put that number in there. Uh, if we wanted to use the points, we could go angle P, Q, R, and we could also go in the re reverse direction, angle R, Q, P. Notice that the vertex is in the middle of both these examples. If we switch our focus to angle two, we can again simply write it as angle two, um, and then using the points, we could write it as angle R, Q, S, or we could write it as angle S, Q, R. As you can see in this example, there are multiple ways to write an angle. So if I asked you on a homework assignment to correctly label said angle, there might be more than one possible correct answer to a question like that. All right, let's talk about the notation of congruency. So first is the symbol. And that's, that right here is the symbol of congruency. And basically, it's an equation sign with a little swirl on top of it. Okay, so if we're talking about congruency of angles, you could say angle A is congruent to angle B. If we wanted to say two given segments were congruent to each other, we could write it like this. Segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Okay, and that would mean that those two segments are congruent. Let's talk about the notation of parallel, okay? The symbol for parallel is just two lines going up and down like that. Kind of looks like two lowercase l's next to each other. So if we wanted to say segment A, B was parallel to C, B, that's how we would do it. And again, this right here is the symbol for parallel. Perpendicular is pretty similar. We have a nice label diagram down here. So let's say that since CD has a 90 degree angle with B, we can say that CD is perpendicular to DB. So CD segment is perpendicular to DB. And again, this right here is the symbol for perpendicular. So these three guys are your three pieces of new notation. So learn them and be comfortable with them because we're going to see them a lot in this chapter. Okay, we've got two more diagrams for you to look at and copy over in your guided notes. And I want you to try these problems on your own. Okay, so number one, label the diagram two ways. Um, so look at that, see if you can do that. And number two, we have 
name the angle in all possible ways. Okay, again, multiple right answers, so try to list them all. All right, guys, good luck.